So apparently the royal wedding is a big deal, not just because it's two people making a testimonial to everyone and their government of their dedication to each other through matrimonial union, but because it's a revolutionary achievement for feminism and also race issues. Or it's the worst thing that's ever happened to the white race. I don't know. You fucking decide. No. 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 <laughs> You have been warned. Let the demonetization process begin! Now, let, let, let me be clear. I have absolutely no issue with the two getting married. None whatsoever. It's simply the fact that something so personal between the two of them has become such a hot-button issue, politically, for some fucking reason. I, I, I don't get it. I mean, on the one side, you have people mad because she's American, divorced, not a virgin, is perpetuating the genocide of the noble line of Mountbatten and Windor or something. And on the other hand, you have people calling this some sort of revolutionary event that will end racism and sexism in all of its um, many forms and bring peace and unity and rainbows and candy corns and, you know, unicorn farts to the whole wide UK. I exaggerate, of course, but you understand. The royal family doesn't technically actually have anything to do with the government, it should be noted. In any official capacity, they're just faces that are meant to smile and look pretty. Overall, they're pretty ceremonial. I mean, let, let's be real, they're, they're glorified celebrities. I mean no disrespect. I'm just trying to point out that ascribing ideological significance to the royal family is essentially like taking that precedent and applying it to the Kardashians and then relying on it for validity. It holds no significance on the matter. At all. Now, I'll probably get shit for this video, but eh, fuck it. What's the worst the queen can do to me, honestly? Ahead me? We're not going to go crazy about the royal wedding. I'll say it now, I care very little about the royal family and its affairs, but in this instance, I, I do feel that I have something of value to add to the conversation. I mean, you can decide whether or not I do, but I think I do, and it's my channel, so we're doing what I want. Now, we're going to be looking at a few schools of thought here, and so I'll just run through them one after the other. The first one is that this royal wedding is a step forwards for Black Britons and their race relations within the UK. Quote, I think a lot of people think we're in post-racial society, but it certainly doesn't feel that way for the black and brown people living here. Brinkhurst Cuff said, racism is still alive and cooking here. Ak Pen agreed. Britain is still racist. It's still very racist, she said. However, British commentator Afu Hirsch suggested that when Harry marries Markle, it would change Britain's relationship with race forever. Don't underestimate the symbolism of a royal marriage, she wrote in The Guardian. From now on, it will be impossible to argue that being black is somehow incompatible with being British. Essentially, we've made Markle out to be the second coming of black Jesus for the UK black population. I mean, okay, if that's who you want to put on a pedestal, by all means. If you look at a certain other school of thought, this isn't the best thing in the world for all of Britain. It's absolutely the worst thing. Take Roy Batty from the Daily Stormer. Quote, To be honest, this whole marriage is a farce on too many levels to even count. But if the ginger prince wants to go slumming, hey, 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 don't disrespect the ginger ethno state, son. He should have just tapped this mulatto whore, gotten it out of the system, and then married a decent woman to carry on his line. So, whatever. I'm not here to judge what woman a white man sticks his dick into. It's really none of my business. This is one of those instances where a but is, uh, in fact required, and I am hence counting it. It is, however, my business when the royal family goes out of their way to convince white people that race mixing is okay in the future of their country and race. That's where I draw the line. And fuck, Harry, dude, why not just date a Portuguese girl like Shakespeare did? Uh, honestly, the audacity of this guy to think that Harry is actually going to read his article. I mean, come on, the guy's got better things to do than read your fringe, edgy troll bait fuck nugget wing shit like okay boy if you're so keen on having a dark lady you'll get the black hair the smooth olive skin and the feisty southern temperament why did it have to be a negress here's the thing i don't think it has to do with 
him wanting a dark lady i think it has to do with the fact that um maybe he likes her maybe even possibly loves her enough to marry her and spend the rest of his life with her do you ever think of that oh my god <laughs> and the idea of having cheddar babies is disgusting as well i mean when you put it like that i too would not like a baby made of cheese but here we are imagine imagine i implore you imagine just for a second being so invested so dedicated to the relationship of two people that you don't know that you spend what 20 minutes writing a little article about why it's the worst pairing since the doctor and clara oswald from doctor who how fucking middle school tumblr-esque of you Roy. But that's not the only school of thought that I want to approach. That Not just the racial aspect of this. Let's do the sexism aspect as well. Apparently this royal wedding is unequivocally a win for feminism. Take a gander. Quote, I did not expect in my lifetime to see the return of Nazis, but we have. In 2018, we get to see people hailing Trump's win with Nazi salutes, chanting Nazi slogans before killing a woman in Charlottesville, Nazis being profiled in the New York Times, Nazis making coffee. Nazis making... Oh my god. Fucking Starbucks. Are you serious? Because we cannot possibly, in current year, have a goddamn discussion about anything as mundane as a fucking wedding. A royal wedding in the UK. But a wedding... A wedding all the same. Without bringing up the United States president and Starbucks? I mean, there's gotta be a limit to what constitutes as relevant in certain topics of discussion. <laughs> For Christ's sake. Anyway, certainly now I long to see powerful people stand up to the influx of racism and misogyny that people seem once more to be proudly declaring and by their enthusiastic consent to Prince Harry's marriage to Meghan Markle, the royal family is doing so. Because boy, do proudly awful people even hate this marriage. Anti-feminist threads from men bemoan that Harry is a beta. This is seemingly in spite of his flying a helicopter in the military. Does that actually mean anything? We all know what beta means and what it doesn't mean, right? 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 Because Markle has been divorced, is 37, and is likely a non-virgin who dated people. <laughs> the horror. Yeah. And the examples you use to describe this behavior are from three people on Twitter. This random nobody, this guy from Nevada, and this random guy from Toronto. Oh yes, that's indicative of a real problem. In the UK, where it's relevant to the royal wedding. Do you see my point? Need I remind people, royal or not, famous or not, there will be people on both sides who criticize the decisions made by the bride or the groom in who it is they choose to spend the rest of their lives with. It's, it's nobody's business? Yes, I agree. But such a typical behavior is nothing to get your panties in a bunch over. I mean, for God's sake. It's... It's... <laughs> I won't say normal wedding problems, but it's as close as you can get when you're a celebrity, let's be honest. I don't mean to be that person, but there was a shooting yesterday at a school in the US. North and South Korea are kind of getting along at this point. There has been an Ebola outbreak in the DRC and they have a vaccine for it. So, I mean, guys, if you want news, there you go. And I get the irony of me telling people there are greater things to get your panties into uh, in a bunch over over people reacting to the royal wedding. Yes, I get it. But you have to remember that I am a little nobody on the internet with a following of like 6k people, whereas those I am scolding are mainstream media news outlets, people with some influence. Do you see the difference in magnitude between these two instances? Anyway, I'm sorry, is this relationship supposed to be a loving and committed marriage between two people who make each other happy? Or... Is it a political union meant to make some sort of uh, difference socially and politically? I don't know, you decide. Think about this. What kind of marriage is it that begins with the perception that a woman walking herself down the aisle is oh so feminist a statement? Like, chill. Her dad couldn't make it due to health problems that prevented him from being there. Otherwise, he would have done just that, most likely. Shit happens, though. That doesn't make it ideological. But of course, not everyone is on board with the whole, you know, her saving the black race in the UK concept. There are some people who think that Britain's racism issue is absolutely 
abhorrent simply by virtue of black people being a minority in the UK and unfixable in this capacity just by someone marrying into the royal family. Quote, when we start unraveling everyday racism, then we can talk about race relations moving forward, she said. People are ignoring that there is still so much work to be done. Renee Edo Lodge, the author of Why I Am No Longer Talking to White People About Race. Oh yes, I'm familiar. Said the royal wedding shouldn't be seen as a huge step forward. Markle is not Britain's Obama moment, she posted on Twitter. Being chosen by a prince is not democracy. On that we can agree. Now, I may not be on the up and up in terms of conditions in the UK, but if Miss Misa and I rate bear are any indications of race relations in the UK, I'd say the conditions are adequate enough to be satisfactory. Not perfect, of course, never perfect, but satisfactory to say the least. You can never not have racism, but you can mitigate it as well as possible, especially systemically. But don't let this fool you because it's not singularly because she's just one woman that she won't make a difference racially in the UK, or at least to the royal family. It's also because she's of mixed race. Apparently. She's not black enough to be that messiah figure that we talked about earlier. She's not white enough to be a royal princess, but she's also not black enough to be the messiah of the black Britons. Okay. Quote, Akpan said she felt Markle's proximity to whiteness made her more palatable to the royal family. As a dark-skinned woman, I'm still very much aware that if it was a woman who looked like me, would she have even be considered, she asked. Well, I don't know, and we'll never fucking know, because the prince fell in love with Merkel. Because it was Merkel, I'm assuming, and not because of her skin tone? How shallow do you have to be to think that shallowly of other people? Honestly. Other people that you don't even know. Like, what the fuck? What the honest shit? Come on, people. Give, give human beings that you don't know a little bit of credit, why don't you? For God's sake. Have we become that nihilistically cynical? Honestly. Frankly, I, I just I just want to get this across. Who a person decides to marry is none of anyone else's damn business. Who a person decides to have sex with, also, no one's damn business. Whatever reasons those people have for being in each other's company or bound legally to each other is between those two individuals and those two individuals only. Leave the happy couple alone, guys. They're married. They shouldn't have their union be made into a political statement, royalty or not, especially since the monarchy is simply ceremonial. Anyway, enough of that. You should all be aware that as of May 25th, I will be in Greece, so all extraneous live streaming on this channel will cease until June 8th at the soonest, which is when I'll be back from Greece. The video aspect of my channel, however, will not cease. Never fear. I will still have plenty of shitposty type things for you boys and girls and possibly some educational materials. So stay tuned. And as of right now, yes, I am home from college. That's why the set is different. And yes, I am testing out a new mic. So let me know in the description how you like it. Please and thank. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, please consider checking out the Teespring, Amazon, and Patreon links in the description down below. If not, that's totally cool. You can always like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace!